Hello my Aries, welcome to your Twin Flame reading, okay, or soulmate or love relationship reading. Um, I'm going to be doing this for the month of April 2020. I'm going to be doing you on this side, your person on this side. Please remember to flip, twist the energies to how it resonates, okay. We're going to start off um, with getting the overall energy. If this does not resonate, it simply isn't your message, okay? It is just for a collective or it can be for um, a lot of Aries or I could be picking up on your person's energy as well. So please bear that in mind. So let's see what we have for Aries. Send me Rising Venus. What do we have for Aries, please? What is the energy for Aries, please? What is the energy for Aries? Angel guides, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Ascendants. What do we need to know for their twin flame, please? We have House. So I think I'll take one out for each. What do we need to know for the person that Aries is dealing with? Do we need to know for the person that Aries is dealing with? So we've got a high honour. So we could have somebody working here in a high honour position. Okay, somebody who is well respected um, in their workplace, by their friends, their families. Um, for you, Aries, um, you could be buying a new house. Um, this is also talking about where you're living. So either you're buying a house redecorating um you feel at home where you are with this person you feel comfortable within yourself even as well let's get some love messages for aries sun moon rising venus please what love messages do we have for aries i will read these at the end let's see what love messages we have for aries Okay, what love messages do we have for the person in question, please, that Aries is dealing with? That one wanted to flip out. Okay, we got two. There we go. All right. Okay, and the overall energy between you and this person, please, angel guides, what is the messages that we have? What advice, what guidance can we give to Aries and the person that they're dealing with? Okay, let's see. We have nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, and we have, oh, we got two. Hold your vision. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so let's get on straight with the reading and what we have for you aries and your person in question let's start off with aries energy sun moon rising venus for their twin flame reading please what messages do we have what guidance can we give to aries what do we need to know about aries person got them the wrong way around what do we need to know for Aries and the person they're dealing with? Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, we've got the Messenger of Wands, which is a Page of Wands, we've got the Hermit, could be dealing with a Virgo, got Five of Pentacles, 
let's see what we need to know for the person in question what do we need to know for the person in question that Aries is dealing with could be dealing with a younger fire energy as well got a lot of pentacles here a lot of pentacles We have the two of wands, we have the five of cups, we have the six of cups, we have the three of wands, we have the death and we have three of cups. What is working well for Aries and this person in question? Got the two of swords whoa okay that's too many got a lot of repetitive numbers here what is working well oh gosh cards are really jumpy got the hierophant okay mm-hmm what is not working well for the person in question and Aries? Whoa. Ace of Wands and, oh, Ace of Cups and the Emperor. So I feel like we've got switched energies here. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Four of Pentacles. So somebody here could be really holding back, okay, on their feelings, on their thoughts. Somebody is grounding themselves. Um, in this particular deck, I feel that somebody here is holding back and wanting to make a offer or wanting to give something here. So what I'm seeing here with the Ten of Pentacles and um, the Ace of Pentacles is that somebody here is um, making a very big investment in regards to finances, um, perhaps a down payment on a house, mortgage, because we do have house here. So I feel like somebody here is um, making a decision to either invest in a house, um, invest in a down payment, um, perhaps waiting for somebody could be selling their house here as well. Um, I'm seeing here as well that with the Ten of Pentacles, okay, this is, um, this is in regards to a family home, perhaps, okay, um, I do feel her that there is a lot of, um, you know, stability here, there is a lot of abundance here with finance on a physical level, things are looking good, um, there is this um, manifestation or an opportunity that somebody here is trying to take, okay? Um, and I feel that this is more to do with a family home or a family environment. I think there's somebody here maybe deciding to move homes, um, buy a new home and sell the current home that they're in right now. Moving forward, I'm also seeing here as well that with the Wheel of Fortune, somebody is making their luck work in their favour. It is karmic, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune also shows to me that it's all about in divine timing as well, okay? Um, and I think that uh, this is a beginning of something new here. Now, um, you could be dealing, like I said, with a younger fire energy, but I feel that this is like a beginning of something new, a turning point in a new direction of your life, okay? Um, and, and this is for you about taking a chance at this very big opportunity, okay? This opportunity that's coming towards you, Aries, I feel like this is um, you taking a chance at this opportunity, um, I because I do feel here that, you know, um, it's showing here that with the wheel, the wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles, that there are good things coming in regards to finances, um, when it comes to family, 
there is some really good things coming for you okay but all in divine timing and i like how that the ten of pentacles is there with the ace of pentacles it means things are looking really good in regards to finance stability family life things are looking very good with the hermit and five of pentacles however in the outcome position i feel here that if you are dealing with a virgo or it could it might not be but it could be just their energy that they have but if you're dealing with a person here you may be feeling like withdrawing from the situation currently just you know so you can get um more into a bit of a a, a deep thought on what direction you need to be taking um in regards to finances because somebody here may have splurged out a lot in regards to finances um so it's kind of like just as quick as it came just as quick as it's gone but i feel that in your relationship or the person that you're dealing with they may have an immature outlook in life about things but um i feel that there is an age difference here as well because if you remember in the um original wider rider white deck there there is an age difference there there's also a gap between you and this person so it could be a physical or emotional distance that you have between this person because somebody here has kind of pulled back um finances as well may not be so good i think there are a few challenges going on here as well but i feel that there is um some adaptations that need to be made moving forward i also feel here that you know there is going to be a change um moving forward as well and somebody here is really thinking about it behind closed doors i really do feel that they are they're being guided and the question is what key is going to open the right door for you and i feel that that's how it might be feeling for you right now um, I think there's still a lot of growth that needs to be done with the person that you're dealing with and that's what you feel this could also be your energy here as well Aries but I think that this is a divinely guided situation here okay um, so let's go to your person and see what we've got for your person we have the two of wands and the five of cups so the two of wands in this particular draw is showing that somebody here is moving forward okay somebody here is trying to have a very clear vision they feel that they can see things a lot clearly they may think very high of themselves as well sorry about the glare guys um they may think very highly as well about the world or how they perceive themselves in the world but i feel that there is something here that they're still feeling is a bit of a miss okay um i feel that even though they may be moving forward but they come to a a standstill in a decision okay there is a standstill here um with the it might be choosing one over another as well in regards to this situation because we have the five of cups there and somebody here may be feeling very disappointed very much in despair um feeling like they've lost an opportunity in this relationship or in this connection because where you currently stand here with this situation or did stand with this situation is that you could have been um, ready to give up your place and move out into a different location in a different house um, and this person may have felt that it was too late for them to make a decision and now they feel that they've kind of lost in regards to this decision they've lost out on this opportunity to have with you and with the six of cups here they know that this was a soulmate connection they've come to the realization this is a soulmate connection um i also feel here with the six of cups okay that um they may be really stuck thinking about the past they may be really stuck thinking about the past um with the three of wands being next to that um i feel that i feel that again we've got a lot of kind of they've gone from two to three of wands you know so i think they're coming to this uh realization yeah they're coming to this realization 
that they were behaving immature. You see this? They were behaving immature. And now somebody is watching somebody leave. Somebody is watching somebody walk away. Yeah. And they have this sort of um, realisation now that they have come to that kind of moment. And I think that you and this person may be um, at a distance from each other. But it feels here with the messenger of um, wands here that... Um, With the messenger of wands, let me just check something, guys. If the messenger of wands is the page of wands, um, I hardly use this deck. Um, so I just want to quickly find out if that is the case. Bear with me one moment. No, sorry. Messenger of wand is um, the knight of wands. Okay. The Knight of Wands. I still feel there is an age gap with the Five of Pentacles there. So I'm going to stick by what I've said. With the Messenger of Wands, I feel that somebody here is perhaps been too quick. Moved in too quickly. And now they're kind of realising that this is probably not the right thing or they've taken a step back or they've moved away from this person um i do feel here though that um this person could still be watching you as well i feel like this person could definitely still be watching you as well aries or you know you're watching this person um as they're moving away as they've come to the realization but they also are regretful that this did not work out and now they're moving away. You see how the Five of Cups and this Three of Wands are facing the same direction. They've turned away from you, Aries. They've turned away from you. They feel that this was a great loss. Okay. I feel that you will come to the realization when you've sat back and you've kind of realized. This could also be showing here that you may have been um somebody or currently somebody who's just out there for the lust the action the passion and um, you thought that everything was going well but then suddenly there was this moment there where you thought things are not really working out transformation and the three of cups i feel like with the transformation uh, this person here is now that they've come to the realization okay of what this really was and why it can't be i feel that they um they're gonna heal from this they're gonna move forward from this and um eventually gosh i don't know what happened there to my camera <laughs> <laughs> um and eventually i feel that they're going to go through a uh, um a transition okay for moving from this ending into something new okay um they may go out and have some fun with their friends to heal they may change their perception okay um i really feel that this is a, a transformation for them um, in the sense of of letting go of past memories that no longer serve this person. And with the three of ones, they've come to the realization that this reunion has officially ended and they have to let go of this and move on okay so let's go into some clarifiers real quick let's clarify the ten of pentacles angel guides holy spirits please clarify the ten of pentacles please please clarify the ten of pentacles six of pentacles i feel aries that you may have been giving um more to a different situation here and it doesn't necessarily have to be a person i feel that that you know for some of you a collective amount of you you may have gave more in regards to financial matters or you were concentrating more on work finance um home 
and um, opportunities that were coming. And this person felt like they were not getting what they wanted from you, that attention, that love. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please, Spirit Guides? We have the King of Swords. Aries, I feel that someone here came across quite cold towards someone. There's your energy right there. And I think that this person may have told you very clearly, okay? Or you may have told this person very clearly what it is that you wanted. Um, this person wanted marriage. This person wanted love. You see that there? This person may have told you very clearly, I want to get married. I want that love. I want to give you this. Um, but with the, the Six of Swords being here, and there's that, that earth energy again. Um, with the Six of Swords being here, I feel that you or this person may have said, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. See that there? And they moved on. They moved on without you. Or you moved on without them. Let's clarify. They had a lot of determination. Um, Aries, I feel that you had this determination to move on and relocate. So definitely somebody here is at a distance, whether that is physical or emotional distance. Let's clarify uh, this Wheel of Fortune. And guys, okay, that came out in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. So for a collective amount of areas you may think that things are going well for you at the moment um and i feel that um with this wheel of cycle turning into your favor i feel that you may be trying to release yourself from certain um issues that are causing you stress um this relationship that could be causing you stress as well i feel like you're trying to be open to new perspectives um, in regards to this and it's a karmic cycle so you're being guided to kind of release yourself and look at this whole situation from a different perspective let's clarify the messenger of wands i think you are being quite impulsive aries or your person is being impulsive or has made a very impulsive decision king of cups and the magician yeah there it is again i feel here that you are emotionally control of your emotions you have full control over it and i feel here that with the magician you've tried to manipulate the situation or this person here aries has tried to manipulate the situation manipulated the love um and i feel here that um this was just about um a physical attraction i feel that this was about physical attraction here they used all their cards um, on the table right in order to just get physical needs met. Whereas somebody else wanted marriage. Clarify the hermit please angel guides. We have the eight of cups. So with the Eight of Cups being here, I feel that um, somebody withdrew themselves from the situation, whether that is you, Aries, or the person in question, because somebody was really disappointed and they felt that there was a lot of struggles and they never, they felt that, you know, um, this was not, this was not the connection that they wanted. They were not getting that connection from you. They did not expect this to be the relationship that they thought it was going to be, Right. So now what they've decided to do is, is move to a better place. Walk away and move towards a better place. Clarify the Five of Pentacles, please, Angel Guides. We have a reversal. The Empress in reversal. Um, I do feel here with the Five of Pentacles that somebody here felt very left out in the cold because somebody had blocked their feelings from somebody else. Somebody may have had been very dependent on uh, somebody else here. Um, I feel here as well that 
And this is for a collective amount that if somebody here was pregnant, somebody did not want this pregnancy. Somebody refused um, this pregnancy or did not want this pregnancy. Okay. Um, I also feel here that somebody felt um, that somebody made a very immature decision here. Um, with the Empress in reverse, um, with the Five of Pentacles being here, I feel that whoever this person is um, may not have been thinking very clearly because of these emotional blocks. Let's um, clarify your person's angel guides. Why is the Two of Wands here, please? Why is the Two of Wands here, please? So we have five of pentacles again. Yeah, so somebody here felt very left out in the cold. And then they finally came to the realization that, hold on a second, this person doesn't even love me. This person is not the one that I have manifested. This person is not even, has has, has treated me um, in such a way that I think that where they thought that where this was going, whether this was to marriage or a high level of commitment, it was not going there. And then this person came to the realization. Okay. Right. Let's clarify the five of cups. So we have the seven of cups. So. This person really feels like they've been left out in the cold, okay, by you. They feel that there has been this emotional blockage or distance that's been caused by this emotional blockage between you and this person. And with the Seven of Cups here, somebody is now deciding to make a choice in regards to this relationship. Somebody here is making a choice in regards to this relationship as to what they should do. They're making a decision. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. We have the um, Paid of Swords. The Paid of Swords here is telling me that there's definitely an age difference here. Um, or at least in maturity. I think that somebody thought of somebody um, in very high regards. That's what I feel here. Um, with the page of swords I feel like this person knows that you are watching them or they are still watching you Aries this person may still be watching you okay they could be um, watching you secretly or spying on you secretly following your social media with the six of cups being here as well I feel that this person still admires you and still has hope for this connection because they really do feel that it's a soul connection um, but I feel that they are becoming quite restless now in regards to um, the situation. And I think that they're having this moment of understanding the situation for what it is now because they've come to the realization. Let's clarify the three of ones. Clarify the three of ones for me, please, angel guides. Thank you. We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person has come to the realization that their feelings, the love they had for you was not being acknowledged. Whoever this is, whether this is you Aries or your person, they've come to realize that their love was not being acknowledged. They're coming to the realization, okay, that that if this is not if this is not how this person's going to um, accept the love that I have and the amount of love I have for them, I'm gonna take this love and I'm gonna go because this person is not worth my time. Now, even though the three of um, ones can come to the um, the 
it can mean realization of that somebody now realizes that this is my soulmate okay and and that this person um really wants to offer this cup of love but i also feel here okay for the collective amount that could be the case but i feel here that with the energy of the pictures okay this is also showing that somebody here has been thinking really hard and this person has turned their direction from you aries or whether this is you aries let's clarify this transformation and guys please clarify the transformation we have the knight of wands yeah, somebody here is taking a very impulsive, um, action orientated um, decision here, okay, to move on, to transition and move on from this. And they may have become um, a bit of a player themselves now. So if they know that you are watching them, Aries, they might be trying to prove to you, see, we can both play this game. There's a lot of people who like me as well. Okay, let's see. Or for some, this could just mean that they're taking the action now to become more adventurous and get out there and have some fun. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So somebody here now is investing their time in having fun out there. There you have it somebody here is investing time in having fun out there somebody here is is testing the waters um this could also mean as well okay so it doesn't have to be but this could also mean as well just by going out with their friends family having some fun reconnecting with old friends moving on from this connection okay yep ace of pentacles the queen of swords there you go there it is somebody now is more independent is using their perception and is investing and having the new opportunity or manifesting new opportunity to have a prosperous um, outcome in their life okay let's go in with what is not working well for you and this person so i feel here that there could be a difference here in regards to social status okay between you and this person so perhaps you know um you both have different perceptions different communication levels you both have different groups here okay but i also feel that there is this imbalance of not knowing which direction to head towards when it comes to this so you both may have two separate social groups okay or two social separate settings um and I think that one of you are going to um, end up coming into the realization here um, that that there is a decision that somebody needs to make here because you see you have the two rings there you have this um, feather would you call that the pen okay you have the candle you have the cup and you have the moon at the top with the star and I feel that this is um, coming to perhaps somebody here is trying to make a decision between um, whether they want this commitment with this person or not. What is working well for you both in this relationship is you have the Ace of Cups. So there is a lot of love there. There is a lot of stability there, Aries. And, and that is your energy right there. Um, there is a lot of love. There's a lot of stability here, okay? Um, I feel here that... Um, that somebody here though is is being really stubborn somebody here could be being really stubborn and not admitting to the fact that they are actually in love or they're not admitting to the fact that yes um you know this is how they feel about the other person because somebody here is coming to the realization aries okay let's go in and check out your oracle cards what messages you both have if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is a gateway of the soul and i think that that is um just like i was saying about you know coming to the realization that you know you love this person you have a lot of love for this person it could be you or this person aries this person may have a lot of love towards you but somebody here is being really st stubborn okay somebody here is standing their ground somebody here is not admitting to this okay they're fixed in their place close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances that you find yourself in okay 
And then moving over to your person, we have romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. So yeah, somebody has come to the realization that they actually love you, but it's not enough. Okay. Let there be curses between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So somebody has come to the realization and, and now somebody is walking away from this connection. Somebody's walking away from this connection and taking that love they have with them for you. So nothing is yet set in stone. Um, clearly to me that this means here that, um, that what you may be thinking is not how it's going to actually turn out. Things can actually change and things are adaptable and, and things can change. And then you have your dreams and uh, needs a practical plan. So somebody here um, may not have thought this through thoroughly. And now that they kind of made the decision impulsively, um, they're starting to realize that um, this was not a very good idea. This plan was not very stable. And it's also saying hold your vision. So somebody here may be thinking about this person, vice versa, um, and has a vision of how they want things to be and how they expect things to turn out. So... You need to hold division because things are actually going the way you want it to in regards to new perspectives. Okay, Aries, um, I hope this resonated. If it didn't, honestly, it's absolutely fine. Okay, it doesn't have to resonate every single time. Um, but if it did resonate, then don't forget to hit me a like, share and subscribe. Okay, all the great stuff. Comments are going to be turned off, okay, until further notice. I'm still currently not taking any bookings at the moment, okay. I'll let you guys know real soon when I am. And until then, stay safe and stay home and take care. I love you guys. Bye-bye.